Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I think we could talk about a fragrance that I bought recently and it is um, Orangerie Venise by Giorgio Armani, the private collection, so it's Armani Privé. So it came in this nice bottle and this is the 100 ml version of it. So, as usual, I bought it uh, second hand. It was um, a second hand bottle, but uh, it was new. And uh, it didn't disappoint me. Okay, I'm gonna spray it and uh, talk about the scent now. Okay, so let's spray the fragrance on paper. Okay, I put a lot on my hand. <laughs> it's okay. Up. Okay, so the first impression that I have is that's something really fresh, really citrusy, orangey, I would say. Can you say that, orangey? <laughs> so in the opening, it's quite strong on this um, orange blossom or narrowly, I don't know, and the citrus especially. But you can feel something fresh behind. And I think this is the particularity of this one compared to other fragrances, other orange blossom fragrances. I have um, something fresh really that comes uh, quickly after that, the, the, the first orange blossom and narrowly. And uh, it is really something like pine or mint or I don't know, eucalyptus maybe. You see, how I know this <laughs> is because it does something in my mouth, in, in my throat, like... Uh, like uh, when I'm smelling essential oils. I don't know if you get this impression, but when it is something uh, woody or minty, it's tingling, you know, a little bit in, uh, in my nose, in my throat. It's, it's giving me the same, I don't know, tingling sensation. And um, yes, the, the, most, the image that I have smelling this fragrance is the the impression of watching orange blossom trees blooming and uh, quickly giving fruits because I get this fruity impression, and I'm taking like I'm taking these fruits with me through a forest of big trees, uh, maybe pines or cedars, I don't know, and then breathing some fresh air, some white, yeah, there are some white flowers on the path. So this is really the image that I get with this fragrance. It's doing something like it's somehow mouth-watering and um, yeah, it's really floral and fresh. Um, completely unisex to me because it has this woody, fresh, uh, citrusy uh, aspect that you get also in the main fragrance. So it's not something really uh, too floral, I would say, to be... To be not uh, being able to be well but by men, but yeah, you know, for me, men can wear flowers, but I know that some men are not really, um, I don't know, feeling at ease to, to wear something too floral, and to me, this one is not too floral. It's really different from the, the other fragrances, the other orange blossoms that I have. There is a, a little bit of soapiness in the dry down, I think that it's coming now. Maybe musk. There is something really bright. Like there is brightness in this fragrance, like um, you know, this bubbling aldehydes. Maybe I don't know. I have this impression, and there is also the, the nice creaminess behind it is coming now, like a sandalwood. So this is what I'm smelling um, here. This is what I got also in my first impression. I remember I really, I was surprised by this um, floral nose, uh, quickly um, not overcome, but um, that I, I quickly get this fresh and um, woody uh, notes. And um, yeah, I think this is mainly what I, got, what I feel here. Uh, maybe I could, maybe I could um, give you the notes for this one. So, okay, let me check. Um, 
Yes, this was created by Dominique Roupion. So this was also, this was a total blind buy for me. And uh, I'm not disappointed. And the fact that it was created by Dominique Roupion, I think this is also why I, I bought it. Uh, um, why it convinced me to, to to blind buy it. Okay, so let's check the top notes are bitter orange. Okay, citruses of course and bergamot. Ah yes, yes. Yes, okay, yes, I do smell the bergamot. The middle notes are neroli and uh, buku, buchu. Okay, I already talked about this note. Uh, this is the, these small trees uh, growing in the south of um, South uh, Africa. And um. What else? Okay, base notes are cedar. Okay, I think this is the, what I'm smelling here. Moss. It can be the moss and ambroxan. Okay. But I think the cedar... It's maybe the cedar. The most, I, I think here we have some natural uh, essential oils. And this is... While I have this uh, little tingling sensation, I think this is what I'm smelling here. I think the cedar is... Uh, a natural and good quality. I don't know. This is my impression. Maybe it's not the case. I don't know. Tell me if you have uh, already smelled this one. If you have this fragrance, what do you think about it? And uh, if you have the same impression with it. Okay, to make maybe a comparison with other fragrances. For example, if I want to compare this with the uh, Neroli Outre Noir. So I sprayed Neroli Outre Noir also on a paper to compare. And yes, it is really, really different. More different than I remembered. Here I, I do, here I do smell the, the essentially I think I do smell the, the tea note, this smoked tea and the Neroli. This is what I smell the most. This is really different, yes, from this one. How to compare? It has a little bit of this fruity vibe, but it's different here. I have something that has that is less orangey. I would say here more. Uh, yes, I said apricoty. I don't know if we can say that, but it reminds me of apricot. I don't know why. It's maybe the the mix of this uh, black tea and uh, neroli that gives me this sensation. But this is really nice. I really do enjoy this one. This one is also really beautiful. I do enjoy it, but it, to me it's completely different. I really got this fruity vibe, but it's more like, um, yes, this bitter orange, which is giving me this fruity vibe, but it has this, um, the floral notes to me uh, is less um, dominant, I would say that in this fragrance, even if the tea here is really strong. And um, I really got this, these woody notes are really, uh, to me are a big part of this fragrance and uh, giving this um, this unisex uh, feeling, this unisex vibes to this fragrance. Um, I could also make a comparison with uh, another fragrance that I talked about recently, which is Orange Bigarade. Okay, so I spread it also on paper to make a comparison. And I think it's a bit more close than this one, than the Neroli Outre Noir, because it has this bitter orange note also in Orange Bigarade that you have in Orange Venise. Yeah, it's also quite floral with this orange blossom, so I think it's the closest one. But this one doesn't have this um, woody vibe and it has tea also in it. It has some citrus and some bergamot also. And I think it does, yes, it does have some the wood, I believe. So I think this is the closest from the, the, the two. This orange bigard is maybe the closest one. But still doesn't give me the, <laughs> the same vibes. It's quite fruity. I would say this one is more fruity and um, this one is really more woody. It's really giving me woody, more woody vibes, less floral. A bit fruity and more and woody, I don't know. And this one is more, I would say, fruitier and it's fruitier and uh, more on the 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 floral notes and the tea also. I do smell the tea quite a lot, and um, I think it has more fruit also. Yeah, I smell orange blossom. Maybe it has some 
jasmine yes and I, I don't smell jasmine here i think it has only orange blossom so yes the name is a bit um no it's not tricky because orangerie yes it does smell it has this bitter orange and uh, and the orange blossom okay let me take back the paper of orange venise yes okay yes i say it has something green i don't know it has a green quality this one it's more like it reminds me of the nature like you're in a forest and this one's not at all like this one maybe i'm in an orchard um, this is how i explain this one and uh, having a tea uh, having a snack and uh, smelling apricot kernels this one's more on the fruity and full side i would say it smells more fruit here like maybe mandarin i don't know more jasmine and does a little bit of tea the three to me are completely different this one to me they are all unisex but this one's these two tends to be more uh, feminine than this one so yeah if you if you want something that do smell like orange blossom but not too much you want something which is still green and um, and woody i think you would love this one and i will do enjoy it i enjoyed the three of them so and i and i i have to say that when i started this uh, fragrance journey I, I was not a great fan of the of orange blossom and um i think it's like you know this kind of note that is that are growing on me and orange blossom is definitely one and i do enjoy these ones a lot so well i hope that you enjoyed my review and um, my thoughts about these fragrances and uh, especially about or orangerie venise and i uh, hope to see you soon in my next video bye